Welcome back to Limer Post Show with me, Megan Scully. I'm delighted now to be joined by the superintendent of the Adair Manor Golf Course, Alan McDonald. How are you getting on? Very well. Nice morning, so it's very well. A very unusual time, I'm sure, for you all, but the reason we're talking to you is because um, the golf course celebrated its second birthday there recently. Um, can you talk to me about the golf course? And I know it was Tom Fazio or Fazio that designed it. Can you tell me about the course and about, I suppose, how it all started? Well, it was originally a Robert Trent Jones senior course that opened in 1995 under previous ownership. And then when our new owners bought the place in 2015, they decided to redesign it and renovate it. And Tom Fazio was the chosen architect. So I suppose from, from our point of view, we've kind of worked with two preeminent uh, architects of their time, Trent Jones senior in his time and Fazio in this present time. Like it's an absolutely unbelievable golf course and I think um, it's become one that we've seen a lot of photos on Instagram. I think it's just so beautiful looking, the views, obviously looking back at the manor. Um, can you tell me about the maintenance of such an exquisite golf course? Well, it is a high maintenance golf course and I suppose we're lucky that ordinarily we would have a large crew here to, to maintain it. But it's certainly very different to the old golf course. Yeah. Uh, the acreage of maintainable ground is so much more now than what it was, hence why we have such a, a large crew, um, but a very a very good crew and a very dedicated crew to the golf course at Adair Manor. I know, that I, get, I think I, I noticed on social media as well how many people are really cannot wait to get back on the golf course. It seems to be one of those, those, those a lot of people I suppose who maybe work office job Monday to Friday, the golf course is escapism for them. It's um, a step away from, from the city life. And I can see an awful lot of people crying out on social media, wanting them to open up again. And I kind of wonder, is there maybe, like golf course you would think, social distancing happens anyways because of the vast ground. Surely they could look at opening up the golf courses sooner rather than later. Well, I think, as you said, the social distancing is, is easier on a golf course than <laughs> probably any other sport. But yes, I know there's been a lot of lobbying to the government and the Department of Health and whoever else to ensure that golf courses do open up in the next wave of, of easing of restrictions. So, yeah, there will, there will undoubtedly be, I suppose, a new norm in the sense that you mightn't be necessarily allowed out in four balls, yeah. um, but you might be allowed out in two balls and... It's easy. That it's 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 much easier than to kind of socially distance yourself from from your playing partner. But yeah, no, we'd be very hopeful of getting the place open and getting our members and guests back out there as soon as we can. Absolutely. Um, no, I guess a lot of people have been talking about the twenty twenty six Ryder Cup. But it's I suppose that we won't feel the years passing. But it has created such a buzz around not just Adair but Limerick City and County and all of Ireland. It must be such an honour to know that the Ryder Cup is coming there. Oh, it is, and uh, well, I suppose the first thing we were really looking forward to was the Pro-Am mm. for this year and regrettably that has been postponed as well but yeah we've the Pro-Am coming hopefully next year and then in 2026 we have the Ryder Cup so I suppose it was always in the back of our minds that something big may come here when when the McManus family bought the place but to actually get the biggest event in golf here is is a great honour and it's 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 something to really look forward to for me and all of my team as well and for the it's not just us, it's, it's the greenkeeping fraternity in the country, it's the tourist industry in Limerick, Munster, Ireland. So it's, it's great, it really puts a dear manor on the map, but it, it, it puts the whole of Ireland back on the map as well. It is going to be absolutely incredible. I know when the programme does go on ahead, we'll all be there and of course preparing for the Ryder Cup. I have to ask you, um, lastly, Alan, what is your favourite part of the golf course and why? Uh, I get asked a few times. <laughs> From 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 a professional point of view, I do love the ninth hole, but I think from a, an aesthetic point, I would have to say the sixteenth. It's a little par three over water, and you've got the backdrop of the manor, and it's it's a stunning place to be set and to actually do some work. So no, the the sixteenth, it would have to be the sixteenth. Yeah, I, you know, I was going to say as soon as you said that, I was like, I know exactly where you're talking about. Not because I've been there myself, I was in in that actual spot, but because I've seen so many photos on social media of everyone out mm -hmm. golfing, and I have to say, it is an incredible location. And uh, yeah. I have to say, like, well done because the the golf course is stunning and the grounds are absolutely incredible. Alan McDonald, thank you so much for chatting to me about the Dear Manor Golf Course today. And I said we cannot wait for the program and to see the golf course back up and running again soon. Thank you for having me.